been commentator for the evening, A.J. Kirsch, known within some circles as the host of Joe Brody. And the man Dwayne The Rock Johnson declared the first ever Rock the Promo Champion. And we are just moments away from the best pro wrestling action in this coast or any coast. Welcome to Best of the West! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Best of the West Ignition. And we got an interesting matchup, to say the least. I'm Jason Hastings. Davey Danger sleeps at ringside. And here we go. Thomas Johnson making his way to the ring. And this man is a scary, scary individual to say, to say it lightly here, folks. This guy is absolutely intimidating from the Badlands, from Amish country. He carries a huge weapon to the ring, that axe. And my goodness, he is an intimidating man. But his opponent, to say, oh man, he is no slouch, folks. You're in for a real treat here. This is your opening match on this week's episode of Best of the West Ignition, where you can find us on YouTube and you can find us on the Fight TV app every single Tuesday. Thomas Johnson talking to the crowd here in Hanford, and again, his opponent. This is going to be a doozy. Davey Dangerous is going to take it away. And his opponent from South Central Los Angeles, weighing it at 275 pounds, he is Mustafa Manu Rosli We are awaiting for Mustafa Money Loves Me Saeed here. And no sign of him just yet. I'm not too sure what's going on. If he might be making Amish Johnson think about what he's gotten himself into. Because making his debut tonight at Best of the West is Amish Johnson. And here comes Mustafa Saeed. An ECW original. One half of the gangsters here, alongside New Jack. Hold it. He's going down. We know he's going down. Huh? Oh my. What a monster. Both these guys are monsters. Yeah, AJ, I was just saying that. Mustafa Saeed, he, the look in his eyes, he has the look Somebody's of a killer. Cole, relentless, looks forward. He has to, 
if I had to say he reminds me of anybody, he reminds me of Steven Trasario with those cold dead eyes that you've referenced before. He's got, he's always got that crazy look in his eye. Mustafa Saeed does not need a reason to fight. He just needs a person and a place. And he is in his own world right now. Mustafa, money loves me, Saeed. And he, <laughs> he wants to get that three count, head to the pay window, and call it a night. Yeah, Davey dangerously did the smartest thing ever by getting out of the ring right away. He is known to be mugging people. Wait a minute, he looks like he's in a sock referee, Nook Nook Johnson. You may want to check those pockets, make sure you don't have a, a shank in there or something. Hey, give me that microphone. Oh, wait a minute. He's oh got boy. something to say. He's going to stop his calling for the mic. Make sure the whole camp is here. Yeah! Hey, yeah. 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 listen, people. If you look at the floor, some beautiful little match that you see on WWE somewhere, you're not going to see that here. You're going to see some real tough wrestling and beat down. That's what you're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Get this mic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stare down Mustafa, money loves me, Saeed, and Amish Johnson. I think Amish Johnson actually has a beat as far as height. I'm not sure about weight. It looks like they're about equal in weight here, AJ. And, oh, but I don't know. <laughs> These guys are both, just both big men. Amish Johnson has his work cut out for him in his Best of the West debut right here. Against, right, obviously the experience goes to Mustafa, but Amish has got the size. I don't know about strength, but youth definitely on his side. Yeah, Mustafa Saeed been doing this a very long time, over 25 years, I believe, AJ. He is uh, a very, very crafty veteran. Amos Johnson, I don't know too much about him. I know he has a couple of years in, the, in wrestling, but easily, no matter who you put this guy against, Mustafa's going to have the experience here tonight. Mustafa circling Amish Johnson, calling elbow tie-up once again. Back into the headlock. Yes! Thomas Johnson better squeeze on that thing for dear life. Yes. Uh, off the ropes. Shoulder tackle and Mustafa. Laughing. <laughs> He's like, screw this. Here we go. This is what he was referencing earlier. He said, you want to see a humble wrestling match this is the wrong place to be. You want to see a fight. You're about to see one. Now, draping his eyes across that top rope. What's he going to do with him? He's got him cinched. Going for a suplex. Thomas Johnson's legs may hit the ropes if he suplexes him from there. Oh! First. And that. nearly 600 pounds come crashing down between these two monsters. That, I'm glad this ring has been reinforced. That was a heavy, heavy, heavy amount of weight hitting that ring there. Thomas Johnson now choking the life out of Mustafa. Money loves me, Saeed. This is not a no DQ match. This is not no holds barred. And Thomas Johnson, just, he too has that just crazy look in his eye. I wouldn't want to run into either of these guys in a dark alley. Yeah. After Wise Guy calling out somebody earlier and saying he's going to meet them in the parking lot, I, I really hope that Wise Guy doesn't bump into one of these guys in a parking lot one day. Yeah, watch. Mustafa <laughs> trying to fight back. <laughs> Amish, go and give it to you. Proud member of the Mullet Club. 
And he has a hell of a mullet there. Oh, big splash. Splash one. Only a one count. You're not going to take down somebody like Mustafa Saeed with that easy. Kick out at one. Oh, look at this. Rake of the eyes here. Referee Nuck Nuck Johnson not paying attention. Checking something on his shirt. Oh. Belly to back suplex, and Amish landed right on the back of his head. It is not easy to get a man of that size in the air and not going for the cover. Oh. An elbow right to the circle. Lateral press, there's two and only two. Only two. Stomps. Stomps right to the back of the head. Right to the chest, into the lateral press again. Two, only two. Amish Johnson able to muscle out of it, but when you have a man the size of Mustafa Saeed laying on top of you, he doesn't need to hook a leg. When you've got 260, 270 pounds laying across your chest, it takes every ounce of energy you have just to get your shoulder off the mat. Yeah. With these guys, AJ, one of these guys get pinned to the mat. It's going to be hard for them, given that they are a heavier men. It might be a little harder for them to kick out if they're tired at the end of this thing. These guys are both giving it their all. Big kick by Amos Johnson. Look at this. Like you said, one, two, and only two. fell on top of him but didn't put all of his body weight on him. That might have been a big difference there. counting and ain't making a bit of difference. He's still choking him. Thomas Johnson is having a good showing thus far. Especially when going against somebody as experienced and with a reputation for being as vicious. As Mustafa is. Huge right hand knocks the big man down. Mustafa thinking about what he's going to do with Amish Johnson once he gets him on his feet, has him in a headlock, takes him to the ropes. Amish Johnson. Oh! Huge wow. shoulder tackle. Maybe both men perhaps hit heads, but both of them are down as referee Nuck Nuck Johnson begins his count. Amish is starting to stir before Mustafa is. Amish is up to his feet. Mustafa's now up as well. Those clubbing punches. Scoop and a slam. Traps come down. Looks like it's time to get serious here with Thomas Johnson. The suspenders come down. He yelled out. Shut oh. down. Open up shop. But a big boot out of nowhere. Two and three. Money loves me and he loves money. Mustafa Saeed victorious over a debuting Amish Johnson. And Mustafa gets his groove on. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? A hard fought victory. The best, baby! Nothing but the best! I know money loves you. Yes, I do, bro. Never been any question about that. Well, once again, your winner, Mustafa. Money loves me, Saeed. And we'll be right back with more bets of the West Ignition. Don't go anywhere. As you can see, Jr. Kratos, this is where you're going to end up at because you've been ducking me. Talking about you were injured? 
Well, probably from the last time we was wrestling, God hurt you. And I took it to the streets with you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to worry about anything. See, now I got another stretcher for you. I got four or five boys waiting to carry you out. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to make sure that something is hurt on your body. Something doesn't feel right. Your tendon, something's going to tear. I'm going to make sure I finish you off, J.R. Kratos, because you know why? This is Mustafa. Money loves me. Best of the West fans, this is J.R. Kratos, and you are now tuned in to Best of the West. Welcome back to Best of the West Ignition. We have another huge match coming your way. Let's send it to our ring announcer, Davey Dangerously. Following contest is scheduled for Officially in charge of this contest, referee Stephen Landis. Best of the West for some time. Toxic Trent, a student of the Best of the West training facility. Information on that at BOTW.TV, where you can learn to become a superstar from the man he's going to face tonight, his teacher, his mentor, the California Black Sheep, Money Mike Rain. second guess yourself you ask yourself have they taught they taught me everything that I know have they taught me everything that they know and his opponent from the lost coast of Arcata California weighing at 245 pounds he is the California black sheep Mike Ray Mike Ray Going back to what you said, AJ, about has a teacher taught everything the student knows, I can guarantee you he hasn't. He probably hasn't. Because he knows matches like this happen where he and his students will cross paths in a live match environment. And even though he's training a bunch of dedicated, hardworking kids right now, he knows in the back of his mind he 
Mike knows that at the end of the day, I know he's teaching all these kids to be professional wrestlers, but he is the number one contender for the Best of the West Championship, and he's not going to let some young upstart kid knock him off that throne tonight. He became the number one contender when he won a best of five series with Johnny Mutabi. We are underway. Toxic trend against his trainer, California Black Sheep, Mike Rain. Look at this. Wow. Hammerlock reversal. Students trying to outsmart the teacher, but again, the teacher, another trick up his sleeve. The teacher is likely to be one step ahead. I think Toxic Trend, for his sake, I hope he learned a few things that Mike doesn't know about. Otherwise, this is going to be a school session. Toxic Look at this. Back to the headlock. No. No. Mike Rain trying to power out of it. Instead, Toxic Trent reverses. Reaches on it. And again, countered. <laughs> Rain is showing, like, you know, hey, kid, I might have showed you some things, but it ain't going to be enough. And again, cinching in on that headlock, refusing to let it go. Headlock takeover. Like I said, school is in session. Mike Rain is taking Toxic Trent to school. This kid wanted to learn something. He's going to learn firsthand not to ever go against your teacher's wishes. You wanted to match, you got to match. Off the ropes goes Mike Rain. Oh! Huge shoulder tackle. Almost. Oh, quick though, get back up. Yes, countered. Monkey flip. Oh. Monkey flip connecting. Arm drag. And we lead into the arm bar. No, 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 no. 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 Got that arm cinched in tight. Very good. You go a little tighter, you might actually pop his shoulder right out of place. But Mike getting back up to his feet here. Tell him to get out of the We're corner, referee. Again, Stephen Landis. It's because they. Oh. Uh, there's no making excuses. Let's go. Oh. oh. Sorry, Wiggles. Oh. Damn. Booing. Mike Rain. Oh. Throws him into the corner and Trent loses his feet. Oh. Oh, good, good time Lord. to be had by everyone. This is like heat day when I was in training. You get your ass whipped, yeah. you get taught a lesson. Huge hip toss. You were in training? I was. What happened? I didn't train here. <laughs> Mike Rain in control of Toxic Trent. Now just using every bit of that 260 pound frame to squeeze the life out of Toxic Trent. Here we go again. Oh. Damn, another snug chop right to the chest, which is turning a beet red. Toxic Trent now. Took his hear head the off. Impact of that clothesline from freaking Fresno. Lateral press, there's two and only two left shoulder up. But man, after a clothesline like that, it may have been smarter just to stay down. Mike Rain walking this crowd. Starting to get behind Toxic Trent. Single leg drop kick right to the abdomen, able to stagger Mike Rain enough to the point where some separations created. Trent trying his best, but oh! Spine buster. Two and only two 
Ripley left shoulder up. This match continues, but again, the punishment being doled out by Mike Rain at the expense of Toxic Trent. I wonder how training is going to be with them the next time they see each other. Probably tomorrow. It's going to be like, hey, okay, coach, how's it going? Oh, I just whipped your ass last night. It's going to be great to see. My, I got to give Trent a lot of credit. This kid's got uh, some testicular fortitude. Oh, my God. He Mike just Rain. chopped his teacher. Oh, and Mike's telling him, do it again. Oh, 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 my goodness. Wow. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, that was that. That had some stank on it. That had some serious stank on it. Oh wait, look, he's trying to try, try to run away. Whoa, he's fighting back. Scout's loving it. AJ, I'm loving it. This is great. This kid, he is I gotta say it, he's got some balls. He's got For a him. Ton of oh heart. <laughs> uh, classic. He's got a ton of heart. I'm just not sure how smart he is yet. Yeah, he's he's fell for the oldest trick in the book, the old uh the old uh, eye rake here. I and mean, look at this. Bam! Huge elbow right to the start. Cover two and two. Stay down, kid. Mike Rain, you heard him saying, stay down, kid. And at this point, that might be the safest bet. So do yourself a favor and just stay down. Look at, look at Trent's body, AJ. This kid's got welts on welts on welts because of this match. Oh, almost caught himself there. Oh! Going for a leg drop at that momentary lapse of concentration. Optimized his balance. Oh, Trent fighting back. Kicks it. Oh! It's right a curry. The back of the head. Oh! Look like a modified shining wizard. And look, he's putting his elbow pads down. Gonna go for an elbow. Oh! Into the corner. Running elbow right to the face of Mike Rain. Uh, it's got to be considered an upset. Uh oh. Was considered an upset. This is it if he nails this. He's got it hooked. Toxic Trent swarms out of it. Ducks the clothesline. Look at this. Oh! Face first into the canvas goes Mike Rain. This Four, might be it. One, Shocker. Two and no. Kick out at two. Woo. Trent is giving it his all, AJ. And this kid, he if he pulls off this win, it'll be the biggest upset and best of the West history. I think I'd have to agree with you. Toxic Trent with the head Oh, wait, caught but caught. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. And this is it. It's over. Oh! oh! Got it. It's over. One, two, three, Good night. What a match. This kid talks to Trent. I see big things in his future. But for now, Mike Rain has his sights set on the Best of the West Heavyweight Championship. He is your number one contender. And he's just three seconds away from calling that championship his very own. Tonight, the teacher. Any day, funny bone. Why he is your last. one teacher of class. I pick the time. I decide when you're no longer heavyweight champion. Mike Rain victorious over Toxic Trend. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with your main event here on Best of the West. Hey, wait a second, before we go, what is, look at what? this, we've got Jess in the Snake Pool. And Kyle Newport back out here. We saw this a couple of weeks ago, shoves down Landis. Landis probably deserved that, AJ. But and now just picking the scraps of Toxic Trent. This kid just had a hard-fought match, and then what did we do? What did we do? He was like, said to allow it to happen. I guess, oh, wait a minute. He's going to go for that DDT. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Face first into the canvas as 
Jesse the Snake Ghoul just imposed his physical will on Toxic Trent. Jesse Poole came out here and just made another statement at the expense of Toxic Trent. Helps Toxic Trent up. Absolutely abhorrent behavior on the part of Jesse the Snake Fool. Kyle Newport. But we will be right back with your main event here on Best of the West Ignition. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Referee Wiggles, and you're watching Best of the West Ignition. Back to Best of the West Ignition. It is now time for our main event of the evening. Let's send it over to our ring announcer, Davey Dangerously. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is your main event of the evening. Official in charge of this contest, Referee Wiggles. They face three of the very best 
that best of the West has to offer. And I think all six competitors are ready for a war. So that's the thing though, AJ, is there gonna be six competitors? We don't know the condition of Jeff Cobb. The last time we saw the bullies just a few short weeks ago, they attacked Jeff Cobb. Will he be here tonight? We'll find out soon enough. Joe Gray is walking towards us. And their opponents, introducing first, hailing from Beach Street, he is the Prince of the Mario, on J. Cruz. We're here. We're about to do it. It's the biggest match of my life. Wait a minute. Joe Grace is behind us. Oh, no. Wait a minute. He's coming over by us. What the hell is going on here? Oh, no. What is going on here, AJ? All hell's broken loose already. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Here comes Sledge and Marcus Harris, S and M. Sledge and Marcus Eric's coming to the aid of RJ Cruz. Guys gotta tell me coming. So I'm guessing RJ Cruz was a replacement for Jeff Cobb, and, um, and then now the replacement is now out, AJ. So is this going to be a handicap match, it looks like? Well, the bullies slash don't call them the promo bullies are taking out members of the Best of the West roster one by one. Yeah, the, the, the bullies do not call them the promo bullies. I would not want to piss those guys off, and they were pretty close to – they're too close to comfort for me, dude. I didn't want to be involved in any of that. And RJ again. RJ having to be helped to the back again. This guy's had some a lot of back issues the last few weeks, and again, like being attacked by the bullies is just it's unfair. It's taken away from the fans here tonight in the main event, and I really hope that we can find a, a suitable partner for them because this is uh well, it's just rather unfortunate. Sledge and Marcus Eriks are ballsy enough to go in alone, but the numbers game would just be too much for us to No, there's no way that they're doing this alone. Oh, wait, he has one of the tag titles. Oh, disrespecting the tag team division by throwing the belt on the ground, AJ. Wow. Okay, it's third, we're doing this. It's going to be a three on two. to go at this two on three. All right, here we go. Event and best of the West Ignition is underway. What is this? Wait a minute. Jeff Cobb is back out here. They say it's going to be three on three. It's Jeff cleared the wrestle. He just got attacked a couple weeks ago. Oh, wait a minute. I guess he's good. To, he's ready to rock and roll. We're waiting for some clarification here, AJ.
Wait a minute. Well, no, no, no. He's right. He's right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is now a three-on-three elimination match. So they, the, they won. They won. Introducing S&M's tag team partner from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing 263 pounds, Mr. Athletic, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb has officially been added to this match. The Bullets wanted it go down as a victory for them. Not gonna happen, this match has been restarted three on three. Oh, back elbow. That's a scoop. Oh, and a huge slam. I think he just lost his gum. Yeah, I don't know if it's gum or a contact, but oh! I just love the fact that the best of the West Tag Team Champions have stepped up. They were going to do this thing three on two, and then thank God Mr. Atleta Jeff Cobb came out to save the day. He's cleared to wrestle, apparently, AJ. This guy's oh! I wasn't aware that he was cleared to wrestle, but it's a good thing for SNM that he was because I, as much respect as I have for SNM, I would have to think that three on two would eventually sway the odds in favor of the bullies. Let me talk to you. Right now, you're watching Best of the West Wrestling, and it's Eli Drake. Don't be a dummy. Keep it right here. That's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah. If these guys, if these guys at full strength, it, they're scary, but when they're they're missing a person, they make up for it in damage control. Oh, he went to go stomp his hand. Oh! Going to work on that hand, and it may not seem like much, but if you can't lock your fingers, if you can't get a lock on your opponent, if you can't hook a leg, it makes winning a match exceedingly difficult. <laughs> Sledge just going to work on every available appendage. Cover, there's two and only two. Tags in Marcus Eriks. Oh, 
Oh, oh back elbow, elbow into the corner, connecting. Super kick right to the side of the face. One, two, and only two. Tag back in here. Best West Tag Team Champions, Marcus Eric Sledge. Maybe Jess not ready to get into the ring yet, AJ, because it seems like he has not jumped in yet. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's not fully clear to meet. But it looks like he's telling him, "I, I want in." Oh! It is a protection. Play shot right in the corner. And Dom Vitali. Irish whip. Sledge now. Saw Joe Graves coming in. Sledge got met with a boot in the corner. Oh! Flying oh. shoulder tackle connecting. And here comes Joe Graves. Like, this guy I'm the most worried about out of all the bullies, AJ. This guy, he is a scary, scary SOB. Because, like, he. Look at him. Look at him. He just uh, doesn't stop attacking. He's absolutely relentless. The fact that he licked his lips after just beating the crap out of Sledge shows you how relentless he is. Yeah, well, he gets that kind of satisfaction with beating the crap out of people. I think all the bullies do. Sledge getting stomped into oblivion by Hammerstone. Stone throwing his hands up like, what are you going to do about it? Sledge is getting choked out, though, in the corner over there by Joe Graves. This is where the bullies are the most ex are most effective is when they're together working together as a team to make sure that they cut everybody off. They're no he Sledge is nowhere near his corner, and the bullies are all over there in their corner. That's just sound tag team wrestling. You isolate your opponent in your corner. You isolate them in enemy territory to keep them from making the tag. The fewer tags your opponents can make, the more of a chance they're going to get worn out. But there's a jumping knee to Dom Vitale. Didn't even see it coming, and Sledge has got to be thinking about making a tag. Yeah, this is the turning point in this match. Grace in. Eric's in. Oh! Damn. Flying back elbow, cover, there's two, no, only one. Look at this, Eric's is starting to get a little overzealous. Slow down, Eric's. Uh, see, this is what I just said. Boot to the gut. Oh! Cyclone suplex from Joe Graves. And Marcus Eric's is in a world of one, two, and only two. Let's go Oh, trying to fight back. Marcus just went to enemy territory, reaching for the tag, cannot make it. Oh, what the? Wow. Like Takedown, just, he just drove him. That in might chaos. be it for Eric's. Oh, both men are knocked off the apron. Grace is out. Tell you, oh! Elbow drop, didn't get all of it though. There's two and got enough though. Marcus Eriks has been eliminated. Marcus Eriks has been eliminated. And just like that, the bullies are up by one. We are down to how this match started with two on three. Tom and Tally saying, come on. He draws a line in the ring. Oh, it's going to be a slugfest here. And immediately starts pummeling on Sledge, who returns in kind. Knee to the backstop, Sledge to the tracks, and a clothesline knocks the big man down. One, two. Two. Alexander Hammerstone yelling at Lan or excuse me, See, it's Wiggles. Not me. It's not just me. <laughs> saying Wiggles looks like he's in the fourth grade. That is unconfirmed at this time whether he is or not. 
opening up Sledge, exposing that midsection. Oh. And a chop, what a jerk. Yeah, Let's give him a receipt. Oh no, this is gonna get ugly, here, here we, we go. go. Oh, MMA style takedown. You don't, look at Graves, dude. You do not go toe to toe with this guy. Oh, Graves is angry. Hammerstone with elbow after elbow. A little flex right oh. there, another elbow. One, two, and only two. God, we were really close to watching this match go down to three on one, and that would be a bad situation for Jeff Cobb. Yeah, seeing that Cobb's already a little banged up, man, this would not be good for him. Sledge is in the wrong part of town right now. Bad-mouthing Jeff Cobb. Oh, that's, oh, oh. humiliating Sledge. Oh, and another, another one. one. Oh, big Dude. maneuver. There's two. Well. Dom Vitality. I never thought that was going to happen, AJ. Wow. Whoa, look at that strength there. Dom Vitale Sledge. out of the match. And Hammerstone. Oh! Huge forearm to the face. Sledge hangs on. Oh! Belly to back power bomb. There's two and only two. Hammerstone kicks out. Tom Vitelli saying to call it down the middle. Oh! There's also what a move the there. Arms. And get Graves back in. Cobb out. Oh! Bicycle kick. There's two. And Sledge and has just down been eliminated. To one. This, is now, this is now a two-on-one affair. You know, I, I know I went to the Scott Steiner School of Mathematics, AJ, but... Uh, I know that Jeff Cobb doesn't stand a good chance right now winning this match. Look at this, oh. But if anybody can do it, it's Cobb. Oh! Huge elevation. Oh! Graves and Hammerstone now double teaming. Ooh. Jeff Cobb. Look at this. Whoa. Oh! Jeff Cobb reverses, suplexes both competitors. He is unfathomably strong. Oh! This is turning into a snug fest. Oh, 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 Head headbutt to the right chest. To Graves. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, thought he was going to go for the tour of the islands there. Power slam rolls through. Oh. It's a warhammer like maneuver one, two, and Jeff Cobb kicks out. Just like that, they got the advantage. Like I said earlier, AJ, two on one. It's not looking too good for Jeff. Oh, submission here. Like almost a cut to Hajime. Oh, look at that. Cobb uses Joe Graves to take out Hammerstone. Two of the oh. One. Two, Joe Graves has been eliminated. And we are down to Cobb and Hammerstone.
Just like that, AJ. You're absolutely right. You said it. You said if anybody can get this done, it would be Jeff Cobb. And now we have a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, look at that. I feel like Hammerstone on the top rope. Oh, caught him. But look at this. Jeff Cobb rolls through. Hammerstone out the back. Oh! Damn, discus for him. Jeff Cobb looked like a puppet with the strings cut. One, two. No, Jeff Cobb kicks out. Hammerstone can't believe it. Hammerstone saying it's okay. He's still he's going for that kick. I knew. Here we go. Bullies have won. And Joe Great still at ringside while everybody else is gone. s has gone. Oh, look at this. Whoa, oh, countered. Oh, look at this. Oh! Unbelievable power with that German suplex. Look at Gray still at ring, so like I said, I knew he was going to play a factor. Jeff Cobb looking at Joe Graves, who was already eliminated from this matchup. Knocks off Joe Graves. One, two, he got him! Wow. <laughs> Jeff Cobb pulled it out. We said if anybody could do it, it was Jeff. And he just did it. He just sent a statement to the bullies that says, you cannot come into Best of the West and just mess with us. Joe Graves right in front of us saying something. Broads. No, it's just scribbles now. It's just scribbles at this point. It's a good, it's a good effort. But Jeff Cobb standing tall, standing proud for Best of the West. Teaching the bullies a lesson. Ladies and gentlemen. Jason Hastings at ringside. This is AJ Kirsch saying good night from Best of the West. Ignition. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Mr. 